Hi folks, I'm Stephen Crone. Thanks for joining me again today for another watercolour demonstration. Today I've got a big church spire for you. Just blocked it in, sort of silhouetted it against the bright sky. And then a few buildings scraped out with a card in front of it. And then just general landscape apart from that. So let me show you the colours I've used for this one. So I've used ultramarine, lemon yellow, Payne's grey, lizarding crimson, raw sienna, yeah, I think I did use burnt on burnt light red. So I've used all seven colours. Um, most of it done with a large run rant and ache. Used a little flat brush for the, the church. And then just got a couple of little rigger brushes under there, three and a zero for the finer bits. This is my new book. Please excuse the dirty tablecloth. It does need changing. Um, this is available. I think it's out in the UK. Just waiting for the everywhere else to catch up. Um, shouldn't be too long there. Um, just loads of step-by-step -step photographs to guide you through each one. That's uh, that, well, that particular one. That's a photograph I took at Barbican, just at the top of the hill here on a misty weekend. Um, that was another. That was a photograph in Sutton Park, and then I did sort of that painting from it, and then I'll just take you through it all, just step by step, all the way to the end. So that's on Amazon. You'll see the link in the description. All these paintings there, these are all the paintings. I'll take you through each one. So let's kick it off with a load of water. And then, um, what shall I use? Oh, Sienna, lemon yellow. Put the crimson in there. I'll bring some of this down in the bottom as well, I think. A bit of light red, ultramarine. The alizarin and um, Payne's grey. Actually, it's just... Yeah, quick spray. It's going a bit dry. I just want it all to blend in a little bit more than that. Don't want any hard edges. Bringing it lower and lower towards the horizon line. It's just so got that water. There's a, I do get the airs falling out. Like there's one there, and it's battered about. I, I just ignore them now. It's just part of the paint. I, I just don't worry about. It. You'll drive yourself mad if you worry about all the airs falling out of the hay. There's actually quite a few out there now. Um, so. I think that's enough on the sky, I think. Um, what I might do is just start putting some distant hills and things. I'm coming, actually, let's just soak some of that up. <coughs> Something like that. Find something to work with. Right, let's just get this flat. Paper stretched a little bit. I'm just going to pull that tight against the piece of plywood I got leaning against my easel. And then just see where we are. Um, I want to put in a few trees and things. I'm just soaking up any bits of water I can see. Don't want to get too much now because that's dry. I can't see anything else. Maybe just there. Um, so I'm going to do. Let's put a bit of lemon yellow on that. And I'm going to start whacking in a few trees and things. I 
we do actually have. I'll switch to the little flat brush this. A church. This is church spire. So I'm just mixing it a dark mix. And we're doing somewhere. It's still quite wet actually. I might have to come back to this and, and redo it. See what it looks like when it dries, it might have just faded away into, into nothingness. Um, so for now I'm just going to carry on with my trees. Just bash them in. Like a little building in front of there. Um, actually it's a whole load of buildings and things in there. few random details right. so over there oh that, that looks a bit of a mess um, let's hide the, hide the bottom of that with a tree don't look so bad in there Get that a little bit bigger I want to get a bit of different colours in there. I'm giving them all really dark and dark. I haven't cleaned the brush for ages. Don't worry about this sort of thing. You can get your, you know, your fingers in there and mess it about if you want. It's up to you. I'm going to come to that anyway in a bit. We've got to do the foreground later. But for now, I'm giving it a bit of more sienna. over this side as well. A few sort of lighter colours amongst all those darks that I put in. Just into that lemon yellow. Now I want to go dark again. The paper's started to dry a little bit so now it's going to go on a lot stronger. See what I mean? A bit of light red in there as well, a bit of variation. Darks amongst the haze. Well, I'll just make sure that's flat. I'm going to get the little rigger brush out just to brush in a few little distant trees in the background. Just gives it a bit more interest for the viewer. Um, so I'm just going to take a little, little note of size zero brush. This is just get some of the dark on there. And then let's just pop a few little things in. Try not to do them too big and lose this the scale. But they're just just things growing in the background. Just another another layer of interest. Some things on there as well, just little. I don't know what they are, just little things scattered about. 
Um, so while I'm doing that, I'm just going to mark out. Uh, I'm going to have like a. No, well, actually, I'll, I'll come back to that in a minute. I'll come back to that in a bit. I was going to mark out the path, but I don't even know where I'm going to put it yet. So I'm just going to leave it for a bit. I'm just going to redo this uh, this church. It looks a bit of a, bit of a mess. Um, I think I've done that too big now, and all. don't matter. It's just blending the. Blend the tones in around it. Trying to match the, the, the tones to that. I, mean, I don't need it to dark on the other side. Leave that as it is. I think I don't want to get too balmy. Um, just a few darks scattered about. Right, let's come down slightly, a bit close to the foreground. Um, Let's go a bit brighter, I think, a bit brighter. Let's go green. Um, yeah, a bit of green on this side as well, I think. So raw sienna, such a light red, just to really brighten it up. Um, and now, that path so I'm gonna it's gonna be something like that in it something like that Get a quick dry. Something I like to do is just, if I just get a clean damp brush, I just sort of blend the edges a bit, just so it's, there's no hard edges. It's going to go off somewhere like that. Do you know what, I did this a bit too dry, I think. 
Oh, don't matter, that, that'll do, that'll do. Um, now what I'm going to do is go back to this, this rig here, which I left in the jar. You shouldn't do that because you end up with the airs going off at funny angles. So I'm just mixing a bit of light red and blue, just a general dark, dark colour. And uh, I'm just going to put a few little marks even there. But must stick a few little fence posts in. A few on this side as well. And then the advantage of those is they also it gives you something to cast a shadow from so it makes your light look even better. Um, and then what I might do is just scuff some marks in, just line the edge, line the edge of that. It's getting up there somewhere. That line lines lines up like that. And just stuff it up. Just just whack it in. Just sort of try and pretend that you know what you're doing type of thing. Bit of burnt umber in there. Um, just little details even there. Don't know what that is. Um, right, I think it's time for some big shadows, big foreground shadow. So what I'm going to do is a bit of brown, red, blue. Mix them all together. Something like that. test not that I'll learn anything from that but then just go woof straight across quick dry Back into that shadow colour, and then I probably I've done slightly too many of these posts. I think just going to cast the shadow from each one. I was going to put a little Maddie, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to put the Maddie, I think, I think that the church can take centre stage. Um, the only thing I will do is maybe like a little, a couple of little birds. I think I'm going to leave it at that, I think. Just stick my name down in the corner and I'm going to call this one finished. So let's stick a, a mount on this one and see what it looks like. This is our finished painting all mounted up and ready to go. So 
let's go and have a closer look. Starting with the sky, got a bit of raw sienna, there's a bit of lemon yellow in there as well. Um, and then sort of a lizard in crimson, Payne's grey and ultramarine for the darker bits. A few clouds there, you see a few airs in there as well, I don't worry about them anymore, I don't even bother pulling up and taking them out. Um, and then sort of dominating, we've got a big church spire there. Probably did that a little bit too dark, if I'm honest, but not so worry. Um, you see a few trees and things with the rigger, size zero rigger, and then some darker toned ones in front, and then a little bit of scraping out, just to suggest those little buildings there, just scraped out the roof, and then just let the let the viewers eye fill in the rest. And then the trees and things just continue right over to the horizon line, all the way to the right hand side. It gets a little bit lighter on this side, a bit more lemon yellow in there. And then you just see a little bit of a uh, fingernail scraping as well. I'd suggest a few highlights, a few lights sort of catching the, the trunks and branches there. So I did loads of posts, lots of fence posts, give you an opportunity to cast some shadows off them. Probably did a few too many, to be honest with you. Um, there's also loads over on the left hand side. And then coming forward, introduced a bit of light red just to, to, to warm it up a little bit. Same on the right, and then got our path just coming all the way through into the foreground, and then just to try and sort of help with the light, just cast these big shadows cutting across the path. So I hope you enjoy that. Thanks always for watching for your support. Do join me over at patreon.com slash Stephen Crane if you get the opportunity. Um, the new book um, is on Amazon. You'll see the link in the description. So until next time, keep practicing. If you've got any questions, please ask. And I'll see you again soon.